So the potential for superintelligence kind of lies dormant in matter, much like the power of the atom lies dormant uh, throughout human history, patiently waiting there until 1945. In this century, scientists may learn to awaken the power of artificial intelligence. And I think we might then see an intelligence explosion. So let's do a thought experiment. Let's say that we decide to have a chat with China on some kind of treaty around AI surprises. In the 50s and 60s, we eventually worked out a, a world where there was a no surprise rule about nuclear tests, and then eventually they were banned. When you do a when somebody launches a missile they, uh, for testing or whatever, they notify everyone. And everyone then uses their missile defense systems to watch, to target, to train the systems. It's, a, it's an example of a balance of trust or lack of trust. It's a no surprises rule. I'm very, very concerned that the uh, U.S. view of China as uh, corrupt or communist or whatever, and the Chinese view of America as failing, which has been well documented, will allow people to say, oh my God, they're up to something, and then begin some kind of conundrum. Begin some kind of thing where, because you're arming or you're getting ready, you then trigger the other side. We, we don't have anyone working on that, and yet AI is that powerful. I think we need something like a Manhattan Project on the topic of artificial intelligence. Not to build it, because I think we'll inevitably do that, but to, to understand how to avoid an arms race and to build it in a way that is aligned with our interests. But the moment we admit that information processing is the source of intelligence, that some appropriate computational system is what the basis of intelligence is, and we admit that we will improve these systems continuously, and we admit that the horizon of cognition very likely far exceeds what we currently know, then we have to admit that we're in the process of building some sort of God. Now would be a good time to make sure it's a God we can live with. Thank you very much.